This is Mahmoud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view, this is the top view, this is the front view. And here we can see we have a right side view and this right side view is the cross-sectional view according to this plane. Okay. First of all, I will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, I will draw a rectangle of this size. And for, in, for drawing this rectangle, thus the vertical dimension of this line will be 30, 35 minus 5 unit. Because if, if we see in the right side view, the total dimen dimension is 35. But we will want to draw this part now. So this uh, line dimension will be 30 unit. And this horizontal dimension is 72 unit. So after drawing this rectangle, I will start proceed to 10 unit. So let's start. Select the top plane. Now sketch. Now select center rectangle. Now draw a rectangle. Dimension it to 35 minus 5 unit and 72 unit. Now I submit it for a better view. Now go to features. Now it should boss. Now it should boss it to 10 unit. Now press OK. After that, uh, we, I will draw this rectangular shape. And for drawing this rectangular shape, uh, as this is a solid phase in here, so if I extend the this rectangle to this line, so it doesn't uh, make make any problem. So I will draw a rectangle of this full size. For drawing this rectangle of this full size. First of all, I will draw a center line here and the center line is 60 unit. From this center line, I will offset two line. The total offset is 30 unit. So, its side will be 15 unit. Then I will close the shape and then, then I will extrude boss it. And extrude bossing length is this part. So, the total length is 30 unit. So, this part length will be 13 minus 5 unit. So I am selecting the this back face now sketch now normal to it now select L center line place the center line to the origin and draw a line vertical line of 60 unit after that press OK now go to offset entities select this line as the total dimension is is 30 unit so i will give the half the dimension 15 unit make sure to check uh, bidirectional and capping line now press ok after that isometric it for a better view now go to features and now is to boss now is to boss it to 13 minus 5 unit reverse the direction now press ok now here you can see we have a circular profile here and this circular profile has a dimension of 15 unit and i will extrude it to 13 unit so selecting this face now we sketch now normal to it now select the circle and place the circle here and draw a circle it will take 13 diameter 30 diameter automatically so i don't need it to dimension now i switch take it now go to features and extrude boss now extrude boss it to 13 unit now reverse the direction now press ok in this circular profile i can see that we have a extrude cut of circular profile and this extrude cut circle is 12 diameter so i'm again selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select a circle place the circle to the center now dimension it to 12 diameter now i submit take it for a better view now press ok go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to you can use through all or you can use manually 13 unit as you want now press ok after that we can see we have a 
rip features here and this rip feature has a 60 degree 60 degree angle to this horizontal line and it has a stored force of 10 unit so let's draw the rip feature okay i am selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it after that after that select line and draw a line connecting these two point after that select smart dimension now dimension it to 60 degree now press ok now isometric it now go to features and select the rib option dimension it to 10 unit make sure to check both side now press ok now here you can see in the top face we have a circle stood cut this circle stood cut has a diameter of 12 unit and the distance of this vertical line is uh, we can see the distance is 35 unit total so the this distance will be 35 minus 23 so it will be 12 unit and this distance here will be 72 minus 48 divided by 2 so it will also bring 12 unit and now i am selecting this top face now sketch now normal to it now select circle draw a circle draw a circle of 12 diameter after that select this one dimension now select this circle and select this line now you can dimension it 35 minus 23 it will be automatically with 12 unit now select this face and select this vertical line and now dimension it to 72 minus 48 divided by 2 it will also be 12 unit now i submit it for a better view now go to features and extrude cut now extrude cut it now press ok now here you can see we have a similar shape here so i will mirror that shape so for mirroring this that shape i will select the mirror option from the feature tabs now select features to mirror in here i will select the cut to 2 then select mirror face as a mirror face i will select the right plane now press ok now i will draw this little rectangle and this rectal, little rectangle has a dimension of 6 by 5 unit so i am selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it now select the corner rectangle and draw a corner rectangle the corner rectangle vertical dimension will be 6 unit and horizontal dimension will be 5 unit now isometric it for a better view now press ok now go to features and extrude boss now select extrude boss up to surface from up to surface select this surface in direction 1 and now check the direction 2 and also select the up to surface and for up to surface uh, you can select the, the other side now you can see we have getting a full rectangle or extrude boss now press ok now i submit it for a better view now we are almost done now it's time to doing the flats so here you can see this circle of profile almost we can say it is 12 unit because here we have a 12 unit part and here we also have a 12 unit part and also this side is same also so we can give this flat to a 12 unit flat this two side okay now select the flat option now select 12 unit now select this line and other line now press ok now i submit it now we can see we have another flat here and here these two flat also have radius of 15 unit so i'm setting the fillet features again now now dimension it to 15 unit now select this face and rotate and select the other face now press ok now isometric it 
as you can see we have drawn our 3g sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different